Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do an authentication using Firebase. As you can see here is the photo of my uh, Google account uh, and here is the name of my account. Uh, I'm going to do a uh, user authentication so you can log in uh, or sign up with your email and with your or with your Google account. So what you can do can and also it will be the logout button. So first thing you need to disable your course in order for this to work. Uh, and uh, yeah, I choose my email and yeah, sign in again. And that's it. It will not ask me to enter my password as I think. Eh? Yeah, has already entered it. But as you can see, you got my name here, my picture, and the logout button. If I enable the course, I will be able to fetch data from my API, which is here. And still, I'll be able to enter some rooms, whatever, like uh, yep. So the countdown is going, and I've already done the video to explain how to develop the hotel system, but in this video I'm just going to show you how to do the login and the logout using Firebase uh, authentication. Okay, guys, first thing we want to we want to create a new folder inside our, our source. We want to create components. So, yeah, and we want to create another folder, and we want to call it helpers. Yeah, so inside the helpers, we want to create a JS file. We can call it Firebase config.js. Uh, and then uh, in the components, we want to do, we want to create a authentication auth.view, and then we want to create another one. We want to call it auth success.view, and then we want to inside the source, we want to just create a router. Yes. So guys, once you got your components and then you created the auth.view and the auth.success and then you created the firebase.config, uh, I just want to remind you that those details, you can go ahead and grab them from your Firebase. So all you can do, you can go to Firebase console, you can search in Google, you can log in with your Gmail account uh, and then you can navigate to your authentication tab uh, and you just go to sign in method and you then allow whatever you want like emails and google so for now we just want to authenticate the user with uh, using google uh, using google and the email address oh and if you go to overview here you can so what is it, what is it? Uh, so if you go to your projects uh let me go here yeah so you can add the project by adding this tab, I, I don't know how many projects you can add, it depends from your relation with Google, I think I can add 9, about 9, but anyway, you go to your, to your authentication, sign, to your signing method, and you allow this, and that's pretty much it, so then uh, once you got, once you got the config, you, all you can do, you can do to your app.view, and you can remove some stuff that we don't need so you can delete this all we need uh, is the router view and the router view and we don't need this we're gonna give it now all we need uh, is the don't need this so yeah we don't need all this stuff so i just want to keep it nice and simple for everyone to see so yeah let's get this so then uh, what we want to do we want to go to index.html and we want to import uh, Firebase code. Yeah, so just know the title. What we want to do, we want to import uh, the link for the Firebase. Uh, so as a type, uh, 
So the type will be flex and the CSS. There we go. This is style sheet. I'm going to get the, I think I can finally use node and node modules. And then you want Firebase, Firebase UI, then you want the disk, and then you want to use the Firebase CSS. Yep. Yeah. So then you're good to go. So we want to have a navigate now to your router.js. So in the router.js, what we want to do, we want to import it from view uh, router. From so view slash router. Then we want to import both from components. Then both the view. And then we want to import both success from component. And then both success. Then we want to do a constant for router is equal to new view. Rather. Then we want to also allow the motor to echo history so the user can go backwards. I mean, can I get the, to the previous page? So then we want to do route and we want to do buff. Yeah, this will equal components. It will, so we have the out of the page. Yeah, so then we're going to have we're going to have the same. Is off and yeah the last one will be success and here is success and then here we want to do this and then we want to export it and then we want to go to your main.js and what we want to do we want to start importing stuff for fibers so import it via fibers from fibers and we want to import it Firebase UI from Firebase UI. Then we want to import a router from uh, router. Then we want to import a uh, config from helpers. And then config dot yes. And then we want to do view dot user. I'm going to use the view router. That's it. So then we go to, to the view. We can do we can have a router, then we can have a method called created. On this created, we initialize Firebase to initialize, initialize up, and we want to initialize with config. And then we want to do Firebase to move, and then on off state change, and then we want to have the user. So we want to check if the user is equal to true. We want to push the user to this dot uh, with some router dot push to success. As as we want to push the user to authentication page. And yeah, that's it. That's it for the app. So all we, want, all we want to do, we just want to understand if the user is authenticated or if it's not, we just want to send it to the authentication page. And so we can go to the authentication, which will be pretty simple. Uh, what we can do, we can start off. And uh, we can do diff and app. Do an ID. Should be Firebase UI. So we're going to use the user interface of Firebase to authenticate the user. We have a container. And this is what has been done already. So we don't need to worry about anything about authentication. If you want to add any any comment, any type of thing, just to make you understand. Uh, no, we need to make it inside of the container. So, so, and then on the script, we want to import a Firebase from, from we import a Firebase UI from Firebase UI. Then we want to import, actually, have it here. So, so we want to confirm. And then we want to export it. Yeah, we want to export it. We want to have the name, which will be able to authentication. And then uh, mount it. So, as soon as you load the page, what we want to have is uh, we want to have a variable UI config and uh, sign in press URL, which is lowercase. And then we want to send it to success. And, uh, we want to have sign in option and we want to have fire eraser. Google, uh, Google Cloud Provider, yeah. 
and then I provide ID and that won't have the same but for email. Yeah, so once we have this, we're gonna have uh, UI equal new via new Firebase UI dot authentication dot home UI then we're gonna have Firebase dot authentication and yeah then we have UI dot starter and then we're gonna have uh, a Firebase UI authentication dot and then we're gonna have UI home. So that's pretty much it for the authentication. And on the success, uh, what we can do authentication success, we can do this come first. What we can do, we can do diff and uh, and uh, we'll do h1. And what we can do, we, uh, then we can have a button click, button and uh, click is uh, will be equal to logout. And that is it. We just want to have p tag with with the name that we're going to have it now. And let's have also the image that will be taken from from photo from an object that I would use. And that's it. And then we need to create the stuff. So import Firebase from Firebase. So what we want to return is we just want to return the name and we want to return the photo. That's it for now. And uh, the way we're going to do it, as soon as we load the page, so I'm going to create it. So this dot user. Oh, I want to put everything inside user object. So this dot user is equal to Firebase dot authentication and then dot current user and then uh, if this dot user. We're gonna do this dot name is equal to this dot user dot this name, and then we're gonna do this dot photo equal to this dot user dot uh, photo URL, and pretty much. And that's it. Then last method. One last method we want to have is the logout. It's pretty easy. Uh, logout. And this will be Firebase dot authentication dot sign up. And that's it. Let's try it. You should uh, disable your course. So, okay, why is it not displayed? Come solve in. Hey guys, so I've had a couple of errors that I had to that I had to do. It. So I had to create a new app in my Firebase console, as this app was already used from another project. So I had to create a new one, and then uh, I think I missed like I think I missed uh, yeah I've missed the semicolon here, and then I think and then I think I misspelled some components or some path so it, could, it couldn't find it and it couldn't load it but anyway now it's fine just remember to to disable your course because Google uh, Firebase it won't work if you have your course so all you want to do you can sign in with an email yeah so I've already signed in already before so you can do this, you can just click on mine, oh, okay, and I want to choose a password, yeah, and yeah, that's it, yeah, I want to save it, yeah, oh, why does it disappear? I 
having done this this dot email we put this dot user dot hero and then uh, done this dot photo and this dot user URL and then this dot user you put this dot user dot UI yeah so yeah you got the user ID here that's my email that's my name and there's a logo button and that's my image so yeah I think it's cool so once we got all this eh, we want to be able to have something like this yeah so once we got once we've done the user authentication we go ahead and we can import the user authentication into here so it's pretty much the same stuff but I just added a little bit more style so I have the nav bar here and I have my book room and I have the name and I have my image and log out sign in oh I need to disable my course and yeah yeah you got the picture here you got everything so yeah I'll make uh, my code available into github so you can guys go ahead and check my code and I'll also make this code available for the hotel system and the authentication all together and I'll try to add some more stuff with firebase I'll try to import uh, this API into firebase so we can all have everything in one place and if you guys have any idea that we can add into hotel system and we can do it and just comment below like and share please subscribe thank you so much